Welcome to my corner. Woo! Welcome to my corner. Let's have a talk now. Uh-huh. From Miami to California. Yeah. Check your girl out. I'm gonna give it to you straight up. That's right. That's right. Keeping it real. No things inside. Welcome to my corner, y'all. In a minute, I know y'all see y'all miss my face. Last time I was in here, I had a lot of hurt. It's gone. Uh, last time I was in here, I was telling y'all about depression. You know what I'm saying? God is good, I'm good. Let's see. I've been gone for three weeks, so let's see what happened in three weeks. You know what I'm saying? Chloe Kardashian had her baby, she named it true, but it should have been deception because that's where her father is. Uh, let's see, Bill Cosby going to jail. Um, Childish Gambino dropped a hit. Uh, this white lady called the cops on these black folks on the cookout, she became the meme of, meme of the century. Kanye West lost his everlasting mind. And uh, I think that's it. Did I hit it all? Okay, so what's been going on with me? You know what I'm saying? I'm chilling, living my best life. It's finally summer. I've been gone for three weeks because I've been working. I had this huge event for work, so I've been exhausted and tired. But now I'm back and I'm better. So we're going to have bangers all summer. I'm going to try to come out with at least two videos a week maybe. So you know what I'm saying? I did do an Avengers movie review, and it's on my YouTube, but I forgot to make it public. So after this, watch the movie review. Thanks. Okay, so um, last time I was in here, I was talking about depression and my battle with depression. And so many people reached out to me and like, I was glad that we could create this safe space, you know what I'm saying? For y'all to talk about y'all issues. And I really do think y'all should get therapy because I'm not a therapist and I suck with trying to counsel people. Um, so, you know, you should get a therapist. Um, so today we talked about forgiveness and, um, cause in the beginning of the ther in the depression video, I told y'all I was in this group, you know what I'm saying? And so many people who watched the video are from college and they was like, oh, I remember you sitting in a group, what happened? Y'all nosy, bro. Y'all nosy. But I'm gonna give y'all the tea, you know what I'm saying? Here we go. Okay, so uh, I sang in this group in 2011 to 2013. Um, we, it, I was, I got in the group when it first started. Um, so, you know, we're singing at storefronts and then God began to get, you know, create opportunities. So we was opening up for Mary Mary and Fred Hammond and Marvin Sapp and Kiki Sheard and Anthony, um, Anthony from the group therapy and, you know, uh, Ernest Pugh, John P. Key, like big heavy hitters of the gospel world. We got these opportunities to sing for them. So, you know, it was great. Um, so I was really close with these people. There was maybe like 10 of us um, and we were inseparable. If you saw me, I was with them. Anytime I was not in class, I was at church. Honestly, I was very saved. I was all the way, always at church. You know what I'm saying? I was just always there. Um, so uh, I sang in this group. I was really close to these people. Um, I was so close to the point like if if uh, I had had a kid, they would have been like the godparents. They was gonna be at my wedding, you know what I'm saying? Be a for life, that stuff. It didn't, life must have cut short because it didn't happen. Um, so I sang in this group, you know what I'm saying? It was cool, thank God for the opportunity. Um, so maybe in 2012, I started feeling a little weird. It was over the summer. I just started feeling uncomfortable. Um, not around them, but just inside myself. And I knew that was, and now I know that was God telling me like, yo, you got some things that you need to do. And I have places that I need to go for you. So I need to separate you for some things. So we're going to talk about forgiveness and signs of forgiveness and all these different things. Okay. I'm going to give y'all some C notes too. Um, so I started feeling uncomfortable in the summer of 2012, but 2013, I was about to graduate. So the school year is about to start up. Um, I had went from being like this faithful, faithful group member to like slowly back and back because I just wasn't feeling comfortable. Um, so I would miss engagements. I was missing rehearsals. I just, you know, I, I need, I was trying to figure out what was wrong with me, but I could I didn't know God was shifting me. Like I didn't know God was trying to get me into a place like to get removed, but I was, I was so gung ho for my team. I'm a, I'm a very loyal person. Like if, if we cool, I'm gonna ride for you till the wheels fall off. You know what I'm saying? So I was riding for my group. I, I wanted us to have, I wanted to be a BGV. Okay. Okay, first of all, if y'all know there's a background vocalist, first of all, God did not ever place me on this earth to sing background. Not saying like it's not wrong with singing background, but first of all, I don't sing that great. I mean, I can hold a tune, I can hold a pitch, I was holding down a little tenor and alto section, but like BGVs is not what Candace was meant to be ever. Okay, ever. But because I love this group so much, I was like, after college, you know, I need to figure out how I'm gonna stay here so I can sing BGVs, and you know, we can have this jet life and we can go around the world and tour and da 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 da. And God was like, that is not what I have planned for you. So let's go ahead and get this separation going on. All right. So I had had this dream and um, I had told two of the people that I was really close with in the group about the dream. But I, was at this, I had this dream that I was at the airport and I was saying goodbye to them and I was sobbing. I mean, I was sobbing in the dream so much that I woke up and I cried on the outside. So I told them about the dream and it was like, ah, I don't know what it means, but you know, we always going to be cool. I think the dream was a sign that I was going to separate. I just didn't know. 
So I was confiding in another group member about me feeling uncomfortable about being in a group. And, you know, they went back and ran and told. And then, you know, it is what it is. So we had planned this big concert in January. And um, I saw this tweet. Because back in the day, we used to subtweet, you know what I'm saying? And we used to, okay. But anyways, I seen this tweet and it was like, you know, your days are up, you know, time for your manipulated spirit to be gone, da 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 da, da you know? And I knew it was about me. You know, I just know, I knew it was about me. And I was so blow because I was like, wow, that's crazy. Like, here I am the closest to you. You could just text that to me. You ain't had to put me on Twitter like that. You know what I'm saying? And so I was hurt because I was like, yo, you, you we the closest. Like, I was very close to a few of them in the group. We the closest. Like, we are yin and yang. And for you to say something about me like that, all right, bro, I see how you roll. You know what I'm saying? I was mad, okay? So um, I got this text message before the concert, maybe like two days before. I was like, okay, so after the concert's over, we need to have a meeting. I knew that that meeting was going to be like, you're, you know, you're, you're out of the group, like kicking me out. You know what I'm saying? Like 3LW kick. And I'm just playing. Um, so um, the concert went on. After the concert was over, everybody in the group went out to dinner together. But I didn't feel comfortable, so I went out with another group. The next day... I got up, had the meeting, and it was like, we think your season's up, da 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 cool. I was like, fine. I'm thinking, like, you know, because we're out of the group, we still gonna be cool, but that wasn't, it was like, I got kicked out and, like, removed from the family. Like, if you saw the family portraits, I was snipped away. Like, you ain't see me no more. I disappeared. Um, and, you know, I was mad. I was very angry. I was, I was PO'd, okay? I was livid because... I believed in this group and I believed in them and I was pouring money I ain't have into them, time I, you know what I'm saying? And, it, and I was just like, oh no. But you know what's crazy? The same way they treated me, I had treated other people. So it's like, you know, you reap what you sow. You can't go around treating people bad, okay? And expect not to be treated bad. Um, so I was very angry. I was angry. I was about to graduate. I was dealing with depression. I was upset. So I, was, I had... I needed open heart surgery, but I had kept putting a Band-Aid on some stuff. And look, let me tell y'all something. The first step of forgiveness is to make sure you let it be known that you're hurt. Like so many of us, like, I forgive them, but we don't acknowledge the hurt. You gotta acknowledge the hurt. I was upset. I was mad, okay? If they was in a burning building and I had to spit on them to save them, I won't save them, bruh. I like, they can die. Slowly. That's how angry I was. Very scary. Um, so, I moved away. And I thought that me moving would also help the healing. But once again, you got in order to heal, you got to do the hard work. You got to expose what the issue is. You got to talk about like, yo, this is how I feel. And this makes me feel like this. So I moved. And me moving, I thought like, okay, because I'm not in the same vicinity with them, it shouldn't be that hard to move on. But every time I came back to North Carolina, I had a new story. Somebody told me something they did or how they was treating my people. Or, you know, they said this and this about me. And I was blow because i was like i'm not out in the streets talk about you and people have asked me people ask for asking me all the time yo what happened with you and them what happened and i was like you know my season was up the little church response my season was up it shifted you know what i'm saying i ain't say nothing because i'm the type of person like no matter if i'm in your life or not i'm rooting for you and i ain't about to expose you because that ain't who i am so i'm a i'm a root for you all your secrets are safe with me i ain't never gonna tell them we good so I would come back and I would hear stories about myself. Oh, she's this, she's that. And I would get so mad. I mean, to the point where I was like, yo, pull me up to their house so we can fight. Like, at this point, I'm at this point in my life where, like, I don't want to talk no more. Like, let's go. If you ain't going to fight me, shut up. That's, that's, I had moved to New Orleans and got so ratchet too. I would come back. I'd be like, so you want to fight me or no? You don't want to fight? Be quiet. So, um, I had seen them at a homecoming and they looked right through me, but they spoke to all my friends around me and I was like, what <laughs> i put i made y'all friendship and you're not gonna speak to me Ooh! so i realized every time i came home i had just put a band-aid over it and i wasn't i needed to heal so i was angry i was upset i was like man forget them people i'm done you know what i'm saying i'm never singing another group ever i don't want to kick it with you skate with you nothing you know what i'm saying i'm done so um it is 2018 and i just got to the point in 2017 where i was really good i had to get to the point where i was like yo i'm tired of being angry i'm tired of being bitter like it is what it is and i realized that i had put people on a pedestal that's mistake number one when you put people on pedestals and you make them think like you know they could never do something like that to you people are human i don't think their intention is to hurt you but there is a possibility when dealing with humans they can hurt you. And you have to realize if people hurt you, you will heal. It may suck that you lose some friends. It may suck that you lose a man. And you never felt you'd be betrayed by them. But you heal and you move on. And the most important thing is you heal. So many of us, when we take losses, we just take the loss and we don't heal. And so then we go into the next relationship carrying the same exact damage. 
So because I was so damaged by them, I was like, oh, no, I'm never singing in a group again. I don't want to sing on no praise teams. I don't want to do this. I don't like church people, nothing. I ain't kicking it with them, bruh. So I was very isolated. I uh, used to help kind of like manage them, like manage us. I would make sure I got the booking and stuff. So people were asking me because I, they had seen me do good work. Will I manage them? I was like, no, I don't do groups. I don't do groups. I had become so reserved because I didn't want to get hurt again. And I was just like, no. So what I realized was, hey, bro, people are human. They're going to fall. They're going to fall short. Don't ever put them on a pedestal. I'm pretty sure they didn't intentionally mean to hurt your feelings. And you probably should have expressed yourself better. But also, Candace, you can't treat people a certain way and expect not to be treated like that. So at some point, you got to get over the bitterness. You got to get over the rage and learn to forgive them so you can move on so you can heal. So now I'm at this point where um, I don't mind speaking about it. Um, I haven't spoken about it because it was a sore spot for me. And I just didn't want people all in my business. But now that I'm in Kansas Corner and we transparent, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I got the boot out of a group. It was sad. I moved on. I wish them the best. I still pray for them that God opens doors for them. Um, I think one day we might actually sit at the same table and break bread. And I'm okay with that. Um, I don't have a problem letting know that I was wrong. There was a parts in there that I was wrong, for sure. There's gonna be my side of the story, their side of the story, and the truth. And all three of it is, we, there were some areas we could have handled it differently, period. And the grown up part is to say like, yo, I forgive y'all, y'all good with me, we straight, don't worry about it. Um, and I'm at the point where forgiveness doesn't mean like we gonna be best friends. Forgiveness means I forgive you, I've moved on from it, let's, let's go from here. And I'm gonna go over there from here, okay? I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna do my thing, I'm gonna live my life, and if our paths intertwine and we're able, we'll sit and have an adult conversation. You gotta get to the point where you have to be the bigger person and you have to get to the point where you don't wanna be held down by anything else. So many of us have so many doors and opportunities waiting for us, but we ain't never gonna get there because we hold so much hatred in our own hearts. There's some doors for you. There's some places that you need to go, but you ain't gonna get there because you can't let go of Pookie, Peanut, what Ray Ray did to you, and your ex best friend. You can't. You can't get anywhere you need to go holding down the crap from years ago. Let it go, bro. Let it go. Let it go and move on. Don't just let it go and, and then like never be afraid, like be afraid to let your heart out there again. Let it go and move on. So, you know, that's th that was my story on that. You know, choose forgiveness. Forgiveness is always for you, not them. Because when you don't forgive, they walk around sleeping, you not. So forgive so you can move on. Choose yourself. Always choose yourself. Um, and yeah, so that's the story on that. You know what I'm saying? Um, it wasn't nothing bad. It wasn't like Destiny's Child, like Beyonce kicked me out. It wasn't nothing like that. Um, so yeah, that's the story time on, you know, me singing in the group. And I'm so glad I could finally speak about this and not be angry. Who? because there was a part where I was like, hey, bro, they could die. And God, God really worked it out. And I'm glad they didn't die. All right, y'all. So we're going to be back in the corner. Uh, actually, next week, maybe... We're going to be back in the corner. I'm going to be back because it's summertime. I hope y'all enjoy this. I hope y'all choose to forgive. If there's some things in there that you need to forgive, write them down. Write them a letter. Tell them if you forgive them. Or if it's even better, do this video like this and then tag them in. A... No, don't do that. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. All right. God bless y'all. God